Parvinder, I have not shared the guide yet. I'll share the guide very soon, okay? Okay, so Mahesh, fix your camera. Okay, okay. Okay, so today we are going to learn wireless. Okay, so let me start my screen. Okay, so introduction to wireless. Okay, so consider I am teaching wireless from the very beginning. Even if you have not studied in CCNA. Okay, so it's like the first chapter of wireless. Even if you are a CCNA guy or CCNP guy. Okay. So first of all, what is WLAN? So what is WLAN? Wireless LAN. Right. WLAN stands for wireless LAN. And. <coughs> sorry. And it's a type of wireless network that is used in home, offices and campus area network. So suppose when we talk about your home network, that is also WLAN. Okay. When you go to your office, that is also WLAN. And when we talk about any small campus or university network, that is also WLAN. Okay. So like uh, normal local area networks are called LAN, right? But when the network is related to Wi-Fi, that's called WLAN. Okay. So WLAN makes mobility possible within the home and business. So what is mobility that people can go here and there and they do not have to bound with the wires, right? So if you working from, uh, like if you are sitting in your office and you want to go to cafeteria, right? So you do not have to go with your LAN cable and all. So nowadays every good company have Wi-Fi infrastructure. And wireless network speeds are increasing day by day also. Okay. Anybody knows what is the latest standard right now in the market of Wi-Fi? Okay. We'll discuss about that. Okay. So wireless infrastructure adapted to rapidly changing needs and technology. So what does it mean? That wireless, ka jo infra hai, the wireless infrastructure is increasing day by day. And according to the company needs and technologies, we have to adapt that. So, so means uh, in simple words, we, we have to keep updating the wireless devices and wireless uh, end devices also. Okay. So that uh, we will get high speed networks. So now when it comes to Wi-Fi, okay, the first network is called PAN. What is PAN? Personal area network. How many of you have created uh, what we call hotspots in your mobile phones? Yeah. Hotspots, okay, or maybe you sent files from Bluetooth or something. So when the network is very, very short range, okay, that you can transfer the data only in 20, 30 feet, which is around six to nine meters. Okay. So those Wi-Fi networks are called WPAN. So this is just a theory knowledge. People are not going to ask you in interviews. Okay. Tell me about WPAN. Okay. So this is just a theory uh, topic. WPAN. Uh, maybe in your Cisco exam, they can ask you, okay, what is personal area network? The networks related to Bluetooth, hotspot kind of stuff, that is WPAN. What is WLAN? Medium size networks up to 300 feet. 300 feet tak ke networks ko hum wireless LAN ke dete hain, WLAN. Okay, and they give frequency range, two frequency ranges we have, 2.4 gigahertz. Okay. And 5.0 gigahertz. Okay. I'm sure if you have taken Wi-Fi in your home and maybe you have two Wi-Fi. Okay. One with the 2.4, one with 5 gigahertz. We'll discuss about the uh, difference about 2.4 and 5 gigahertz today. Okay. Frequency. And then we have WMAN, which is related to like, if you understand city to city, city to district. Okay. Where we need licensed frequencies. Okay, W man. And then we have W van, wireless van, which is related to national or global communications. Most, mostly related to uh, 
यू कैन से अबाउट दो थ्री जी फोर जी टावर्स दे आर ऑल्सो लाइक वायरलेस काइंड ऑफ स्टफ ओके so as uh, so this is the range this is the network we have nowadays like bluetooth already we know what is bluetooth which is work under very small range okay it works on this technology called bluetooth low energy okay and some other technologies like bluetooth basic rate enhanced rate and all and these are point to point technologies what is point to point technologies like one device will be connected to another uh, device like if you connect your bluetooth with your car right so like you can stream the audio okay you can listen music from the bluetooth okay so that is like bluetooth wireless technology and <coughs> sorry so then we have wimax technology which is uh, in india uh, like these these are the radio frequency towers okay so by the way if you are confused about radio frequency and wireless both are same thing kind of radio frequency rf signal radio frequency okay wireless is also you can say that radio frequency uh, the signals which are in the air okay you can say these are radio frequencies or uh, those okay and these are the wifi max wifi max technologies which under comes under uh, those as i mentioned some wan technologies of wireless cellular broadband like your 3g networks 4g networks and global networks are like satellite broadband like right now there is a company uh, which elon musk is working what anybody knows the name <coughs> that elon musk has a company which is sending internet signals from the satellites yeah starlink spacex bol raha koi okay spacex is a different mission but uh, if you go and see this is the spacex antennas and from and this is the spacex satellites okay this is the set of 51 satellites and they are going like this okay so means they are uh, globally they uh, like uh, they can provide internet and right now i think the cost is very high uh, not uh, meant to be for underdeveloped countries but a starlink uh, i think it's around 100 dollars per month i think the cost around which is obviously little expensive <coughs> acha india mein aaya nahi na par abhi i think <coughs> okay so the best part why they are getting promotional uh, why they are getting more more hype also because aviation people can means uh, you can use internet in aeroplanes okay you can use internet in the ships okay whether you are in the pacific ocean or anywhere okay because you are getting the internet connection from the satellite and satellite is on our earth orbit okay so you can starlink roam roam means you can just um, just uh, move this satellite anywhere suppose one city to another i think uh, this this type of feature they have also you could be anywhere in any city any place you do not have to roam okay so you can so this is just i am giving one example of satellite broadband okay <coughs> sorry okay so now when it comes to the first of all understand what is 802.11 standard so this is wifi standard okay like if you understand ethernet normal ethernet is called 802.3 okay this is called ethernet standard but anything which start from 11 that is called wifi standard okay so now when it comes to wifi standard the first frequency we had very long earlier uh, like long time back that was 802.11 the problem with this is <coughs> the data rate is only up to 2 mbps 2 mbps nowadays if you imagine the 2 mbps is very very low right <coughs> after that they have created 802.11a standard and the a standard work on 5 gigahertz okay we'll discuss about this gigahertz what is this hz symbol okay but this 802.11a is the advanced version of 
and now you can go up to speed up to 54 mbps okay but this is not compatible with bng mod bng signaling method so these are called radio frequencies okay so if your device is working on b okay but if another device is connect, uh, is using a they can't work each other okay so then after that we have got 11b okay speed is very less 11b but it has a longer range you can see longer range than 802.11a range means wi-fi signal is better than 802.11a but because 5 gigahertz do not give a higher range okay it can give you higher speed but if you need a higher range you have to be on the 2.4 gigahertz 802.11b then they uh, created another one 802.11g okay till to 2010 2011 this model still many old wi-fi devices work on this 802.11g and nowadays your wi-fi device automatically adjust these standards okay you do not have to change the standards automation automatically if you connect your old phone okay they will automatically behave like 802.11g and nowadays the latest phones are on the 11 n ac so these are the latest currently we are using and this is the far like most latest technology we have in the market today and after that also we have one more standard we'll discuss so 11g provides data rate up to 54 mbps and it is compatible with b so remember 11b and g both are compatible so dono radio frequency aapas mein compatible hai. 11b and g both are compatible with each other but a is not compatible okay now we have in the market even your wi-fi right now what you are using right now i am 99 percent sure they are on the 802.11n okay so 802.11n provides speed up to 150 to 600 mbps okay so let's see from the market perspective okay so if i go to amazon and if I buy as device, okay, so which we call Wi-Fi router, okay, so I'm looking at Amazon India right now, and you can see the normal Wi-Fi devices are out around 1,100 rupees, and if I open this Wi-Fi, okay, if I zoom in, so currently you can see this provides 300 Mbps Wi-Fi speed. <laughs> so and if i see my slide it is saying 802.11 provides speed up to 150 to 600 so now why this wi-fi is giving me 300 because this 300 mbps is a 600 mbps is a bi-directional speed means upload and download you can consider so it means this wi-fi device will give me maximum of speed 300 mbps okay and if you see what is the standard here 802.11b but it, i think this is wrongly written over here uh, but if i open the box and all it will be 802.11a n so if you read the documents Yeah, so you can see here, guys, these Wi-Fi D-Link, D-Link N300. So you can see they work on B also, G also, and N also. So B, G, N. And I think this is wrongly written. This device will also support N. Mostly all cheap devices in the market, okay, affordable devices, which are below $10, $15, uh, outside uh, in US, fifteen twenty dollars, which is around thousand uh, rupees to fifteen hundred rupees. So, thousand five hundred wale jitne bhi Wi-Fi hai guys, all those Wi-Fi is are eight zero two dot eleven B G and N. Okay, write down in the comment what I said. So, normal Wi-Fi devices support which communication standards? Write down in the chat. Even open book test. लिख दो चीटर्स कॉपी पेस्ट भी नहीं लिखना आ रहा है तुम्हें याद रहेगा तुम लिखोगे ना तो याद रहेगा तुम्हें बात ये ओके सो द नॉर्मल वाईफाई डिवाइसेस 802.11b g and n ओके सो नाउ इफ आई गो टू माय स्लाइड बैक 
and if i search for this standard 802.11 ac so let's see what will be the cost of those devices okay so now you got an idea if i check about let me write down the pricing okay which is see i always try to relate with the real world okay so my topics i always try to relate with the real world that's why i am writing those prices and all stuff <clears throat> so currently if i buy 11b 802.11g because a is obsolete 11a standard use nahi hota okay 80.11a is very very rare maybe some devices but it is not created so this is the normal affordable for the affordable <coughs> wifi devices so these are the and what is the maximum range so the b provide me what range this is interview question guys kai bar pooch lete hain sometimes they ask you okay tell me 802.11b speed so you have to say data rate up to b ka kitna hai 802.11b support up to 11 mbps 802.11g support data rate up to 54 mbps okay and 802.n which support up to 600 mbps okay so 150 to 600 mbps and now i told you like there is another standard ac 11 ac let's go to that amazon and if i search for 802.11 ac and if i search for this device so you can see the cost increased double so the cost is now increased it is now almost double price what we were getting in n and if i open the, the even these are very basic devices but what will happen now वाईफाई का स्पीड देखो क्या जा रहा है वाईफाई स्पीड नाउ टचिंग अप टू वन पॉइंट थ्री जीबीपीएस ओ माई गॉड राइट यानी यार थोड़ा सा कॉस्टली हजार रुपए महंगा है सो इट इज लाइक ट्वेंटी टू हंड्रेड आई एन आर इट विच विल बी अराउंड थर्टी फोर्टी डॉलर इन यूएस ओके सो दिस इज गिविंग मी अराउंड वन टू थ्री जीबीपीएस स्पीड ओके एंड इफ यू हैव ए वाईफाई if you have a uh, broadband connection with the high speed what is happening somebody okay so it is giving me 1.3 gbps okay so and the cost is you already know right and now it is written over here 867 mb okay some good wifi can give you 1.3 but whenever the wifi speed you check here remember you will not get exact speed okay so when somebody is saying 11 mb it will give you max 5.5 mb because the speeds are written in the bidirectional format there kya ho raha hai okay so now when it comes to 54 mbps it will give you around 27 mbps approx Okay, and when it comes to six hundred MB, that's why it the device was showing you three hundred MB. <laughs> okay, now if it is showing me one point three GB, so approx approx it will give me around six hundred to six fifty Mbps. Okay, so it means. Yar, kya ho raha? Just hold on, there is some bug. Yeah. 600 mbps okay so it means so if you are taking if you are using suppose jio or google fiber okay whatever internet connection you have very high speed internet connection okay so if you just you they have given you the device but you have to install the wifi so normally they give you wifi normal one 802.ac because they can't give you ax ax is very very costly because unka jo budget hai mostly in india normally everyone is giving me ac wifi devices so what i am trying to say so suppose you got a broadband 
but they have given you this AC Wi-Fi device and you have taken the one GBPS internet plan. Okay. So practically on Wi-Fi, you will be getting maximum 600 Mbps. Are you getting my point guys? So this is what is happening with every Mir will discuss about DB and all those things. Okay. I'm covering your basic. ठीक है तुम्हें पता था आधे लोगों को ये भी नहीं पता था ना सो द सो दैट्स द रीजन सो व्हाट आई सजेस्ट व्हेन यू बाय द वाईफाई डिवाइस इफ यू बाय इफ यू विल बी एबल टू बाय ए एक्स ओके इफ यू कैन बाय ए एक्स देन ओनली गो फॉर वन जीबीपीएस वाईफाई प्लांट्स इफ यू कैन बाय ए एक्स वाईफाई डिवाइस देन ओनली गो फॉर the one gbps plans because ax will give you very very high speed let me show you if i type here ax the device cost will go in 10000 15000 okay so this is the ax device okay i think this is not the ax the proper ax devices are these devices around 6000 7000 the cost now increased again double so you can see wireless communication standard is 802.11x and what speed they are giving you around 3000 mbps okay you can see this is the wi-fi so around on so this is called wi-fi 6 the AX series is called Wi-Fi 6. Okay. But now we have Wi-Fi 7 also in the market. Okay. So, so currently it is giving around 2400 Mbps. Okay. So if I write here, the device is giving you around 2400 Mbps, which means uh, half of that what AX is giving. So approximately 2400 uh, Mbps. So this is the no, market and you will be getting 1200 Mbps, right? Because half speed you get always. So Joby device claim kar raha, uska Wi-Fi speed aapko half milega. Okay. Because all the companies give the Wi-Fi device speed in the bi-directional format. What is bi-directional means uh, signal is going and uh, signal incoming and outgoing both. That's why they always say. 2400 mbps but actually when you download data when you watch movies and all it will be half it's like 1200 mbps so yes if you have one gbps internet connection then you have to buy this wi-fi device to get proper one gbps on your wi-fi clear now today agar bhaiya ek gb ka plan le to ye wi-fi le lena kabhi fir isp ke piche pad jau ki bhaiya speed nahi aa raha hai हम तो टावर के नीचे खड़े हैं वाईफाई डिवाइस के ओके सो दिस इज द लॉजिक सो नाउ वी हैव अनदर वाईफाई डिवाइस इन द मार्केट व्हिच इज कॉल्ड वाईफाई 7 इन इंडिया दे हैव नॉट लॉन्च द वाईफाई 7 तो वाईफाई 7 अभी इंडिया में नहीं आया है अकॉर्डिंग या नाउ आई थिंक दे गॉट इट यस लास्ट हफ्ते तक नहीं था आज आ गया ओके नाउ द कॉस्ट इज this standard is now they are saying this standard is something beyond this is called wi-fi 7 basically 11 be this is the new standard even the slide needs to be updated with this standard okay let me write down here somewhere the new wi-fi standard is 11 be okay and which can give me around maximum to maximum 24 gbps guys can you imagine 24 GBPS? So it means 24 GB, even if this give me half speed, it will give me 12 GBPS per second. Okay, so this is called Wi-Fi 7. So can you see the difference, guys? This AX... AX is giving 2400 Mbps, okay, which is called Wi-Fi 6. 
Okay, and if I talk about eleven B E, this is the difference. Somebody is asking Wi-Fi six and seven difference. So seven is a new standard which is eleven B E, which is giving me twenty four thousand Mbps, or you can say twenty four hundred Gbps. है ना यही था? Yes, twenty four point four Gbps. Sorry, मैंने कुछ ज़्यादा लिख दिया. Okay, so this is the speed. So normally download you will be getting around twelve point two Gbps on Wi-Fi. Twelve point two Gbps per second. So just imagine that how much Wi-Fi speed and Wi-Fi plans you need. Okay, so it needs obviously for one Gb. This is not required. Okay, okay. It is not required, but maybe in future, yes, we will have this much speed if devices are there in the market. So within next three to five years, you will be going to office in electric cars. Okay, using your mobile phone with Wi-Fi seven. With Wi-Fi seven, we'll like you'll have twelve Gbps, and maybe your mobile storage will be like ten uh, terabytes, maybe. Okay, so it will be very high. Like the memory speeds are will keep increasing day by day. So this device ke under this device has around ten GB two ports. Okay, for your LAN uh, speed. Okay, that how you will get around twenty four. So twenty four is a little high. I think it can give you around uh, five to six GB. I think that's also very high. But the cost is very high, which is around. Uh, in india it's around 900 dollars if anybody don't understand this pricing 54000 okay so now the basics are clear you understand these standards are upgrading day by day so whenever a new technology come there is a organization which is ieee which defines all these standards to kon karta hai sare all these standards are created by Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. Okay, if anybody wants to read about these publications, okay, just go and read about I Triple E Open. Okay, and you can read about research paper. You can read about lot of things. Okay, if you have that, if you are planning to get your PhD in networking, <laughs> yeah. Okay. <coughs> Okay, so let's go further. So now, when it comes to the wireless signals, it will be shocking for me when I understood this thing that all the all the all signals are radio waves. Okay, all the signals are radio waves. The mobile internet, three G, four G, have very very like you can see. This is what we call cycle. Okay, or the frequency. So you can see this is radio waves, infrared rays, wireless. So all these devices are similar. Like even your microwave heat the uh, food, okay, on with the help of radio frequencies and microwaves. Micro waves. Waves is also signals, kind of. Okay, radio. So sometimes if you check on uh, when you and if you have any old television. Okay, so they will distract, right? They will disrupt the signals. Uh, CC, uh, what we call this, uh, uh, dish TV and all. Okay, all these work on also radio frequency, but they are not harmful. We're not very harmful. Obviously, there are a lot of movies in India which practically proves, tried to prove, they are not good for birds and all. But yes, uh, it's okay. But yes, now after that you can see your ultraviolet rays, like the sun rays, are here, okay, and the X rays are more powerful, and the gamma rays are more, more, more powerful. All these are radio frequencies, okay. So now, two point four gigahertz, eight zero two dot B G N A X and B E I think also work on two point four, and nowadays we have six gigahertz also. Okay, the latest Wi-Fi device, Wi-Fi six, Wi-Fi seven, they work on 
six gigahertz also sometimes seven gigahertz also i think seven i'm not sure but yes i think <laughs> okay so this is five gigahertz also so all these wireless standards they are operated by three big organizations first is kon bana raha hai wifi itu what is quad band quad band like four bands na quad 2.4 gigahertz 5 gigahertz 6 gigahertz 7 gigahertz it works on four different bands that's why it is called quad band quad means four so international telecommunication union if you create any wifi standard in any wifi device if you check your wifi device uh at the back side of your wifi device there will be some small stickers and logos which will be written itu please go and check don't remove your wifi cable okay so itu likha hoga uske upar uske upar i triple e bhi likha hoga uske upar wifi lines bhi likhe honge okay so itu regulates the allocation of radio spectrum and satellite orbit orbits will be decided by itu I triple E writes all the radio frequencies and research papers. Wi-Fi lines promotes the growth and acceptance of Wi-Fi LAN, wireless LAN networks. Like mostly all Wi-Fi devices, um, like you will be uh, on the back side or on the box, you will see this is Wi-Fi licensed. Okay, means it is a licensed version of Wi-Fi. Okay, because these are licensed frequencies. <coughs> so in your laptop obviously you have wireless nic cards network interface cards okay like if you have laptop if you have wireless mobile uh, what we call laptops tablets wifi smartphones they do not need wifi these kind of wifi chips because in older days if anybody wants to have wifi in their laptop they have to use this chips even in desktop today in a normal computer if you have a normal computer if your motherboard does not support wifi then you have to buy these chips and these are called wireless nic and nowadays all wifi chips are inside your uh, what we call uh, mobile circuits okay mobile tablets uh, laptops smartphones they all have wifi antenna small wifi antennas or you can say transmitters or receivers inside your devices because they understand the radio frequencies and transmitter and receiver okay so it means in a mobile phone we have two type of transmitters or receivers one for the 3g 5g circuit and one for the wifi yes uh, got it to hamare phone ke andar do we have around two cards one for the 4g 5g that is like you can say this is like a, a transmitter receiver and the wifi is like your similar work as a transmitter and receiver because you create the hotspot and all also okay so that's called wireless nic and we have wireless home routers right now so these wifi routers we call them wireless routers but practically they are wifi access point because when you get a wired connection okay the wired connection will be transmitted as wifi so that's why the only device which convert your lan cable into wifi signal is called access point but nowadays these wifi devices they are combination of three things one it has access point because it is converting your lan cable into wifi that's why we call this access point it also work like a switch also because it has multiple ports at the back side you can connect a three or four laptops and computers with this device so it is behaving like a switch also and this device is also behaving like a router because this will be the default gateway of your laptops and computers what is default gateway because if this is your laptop and if you want to go to internet this laptop gateway is this wifi and this wifi has a default route with the isp so it means he is forwarding your information to the internet and this device is also doing nat to kya kar raha hai nat bhi kar raha hai the device is converting your private ip into public ip also so it has lot of functionalities in very very small cost that's why everywhere you see these devices are placed when you buy the broadband connections because these are devices which are created for small wifi networks 
they you cannot connect 200 people on this wi-fi device okay obviously so 5 10 the more people will be joining the more this wi-fi will be getting disturbed because of the signal strength and it does not have that memo many inputs many outputs memo so na wi-fi memo kind of stuff okay some so if you want wi-fi and suppose you have a lot of users in office and suppose you work uh, as a startup or something then you have to buy the wi-fi mesh okay so 100 devices or you can write wi-fi mesh okay so so these devices you have to place like you can see if you are a small company and you need to have wi-fi devices you should not buy the normal wi-fi suppose you buy this wi-fi device which i was uh, showing you so some people thought that only these two wifi routers are enough for my office no because after connecting 10 or 15 device these devices will be very very slow okay this happened with me real time that's why i am telling you so so when you have uh, devices more than 50 and 60 then you can go for tp link okay then if you need a good company then you can go for net gear okay net gear is also a good company okay then you can increase the speed okay what speed you need okay and if you need more and more powerful devices then you have to buy if you are a company then you have to buy the cisco access points okay so these wifi devices are not very very affordable they start with around 20000 30000 cost okay and so you can see this website is giving me around 16000 i am not sure it's they are giving yeah so you can see this is the basic wifi model of one access point will cost me around 16000 which is around 300 dollars approx in india this is very basic i think it's not very very advanced it has 802.11 ac but still <coughs> we have to check the speed and all but if you need more more wifi what we call speed and wifi then you have to buy the more latest series of wifi so uh, you can write cisco access point uh, wifi 7 so suppose you want wifi 7 i'm sure cisco has created yeah cisco has already created wifi access point with 6 okay there is a 6e 6e also 6 is between 6 and wifi 6 and wifi 7 <laughs> okay so these are the latest wifi devices so as i mentioned so why uh, cisco has not created wifi 7 okay but uh, imagine tp link has already created <laughs> ab samajh aaya kuch logo ko okay so wifi 6 because they, they create corporate products and maybe corporate do not require that speed right now so wifi 6 e already giving high speeds and maybe cisco will definitely release their 7 uh, maybe on the website it is not releasing uh, but yes uh, very soon you will see wifi 7 devices also so you can see the wifi market will contribute at around 5 trillion per annum to the global economy by 2025 means the people who understand wifi okay and the engineers who learn wifi with a good knowledge obviously they have much bigger hand okay and uh, i would also recommend you to do wifi uh, what we call uh, add wifi all those stuff in your resume also okay so as you understand wireless router let's go further so now we have wireless access point as i mentioned so these wireless access point means connect to your lan cable and convert into wifi signals these are called access point 
now this is the most till now many people know the stuff and now some cisco technical stuff has started the first thing <coughs> so there are two type of ap not ap till low okay this is access point theek okay. hai so one is called autonomous ap one is called controller based ap okay so what is autonomous ap that you have one single wifi device and this is converting your lan cable into multiple like uh, you can see multiple wifi device can connect and only there is one wifi device or you can have two wifi device but they are operating differently they they are not operated by some some brain okay so these are called autonomous ap means individual access points they have their own commands they have their own gui but they are not under anyone then what is this controller based ap that this is the controller which is called wireless lan controller kya bolte isko wireless lan controller wlc wireless lan controller this wlc will suppose you have 100 wifi in your office all these 100 wifi is you can operate from this device which is called wlc okay so both both categories are good okay so if you are a small company vendor you can go for autonomous aps okay which can work alone but if you are a big college big university big company then you have to go for controller based access point why suppose you have 100 wifi and you want to change the wifi password so do you go to all 100 wifi and change the password just see socho ki agar aapke office mein okay so suppose it's a university and you want to just uh, after uh, setting a wifi password okay uh normally i'm just talking about normally so i'm just giving one example okay so it's not about password only it's all about checking the health of wifi okay so with the wlc you can check all wifi health from one single device you can check which wifi is connect which devices are more connected to which wifi okay means you can create some proper wifi designs which are called heat maps okay so you can design the company network according to the requirements of company which is called wifi heat maps okay <coughs> so now all these wifi have antenna okay some wifi have this antenna some wifi have single antenna some wifi have this type of Uh, what we call dish tv type of antenna so these are different different antennas and different different antennas means different different type of output so one is called omnidirectional wifi so normally this type of antenna you will be getting in the normal wifi devices like home offices and small offices areas then we have directional antennas which are normally working like a parabolic dish like dish tv and this is for the wifi standards like vsat if you understand very small aperture terminal this is a technology okay like if you have two big buildings and you want to connect these two buildings and there is a big river just <laughs> i am just giving any hypothetical situation okay or maybe a hilly area okay in himachal if you come to himachal okay so you will see that mostly all companies they have they have internet connection from the very these type of wifi satellites because normally broadbands are not in hilly areas so people have to use even if you check the uh, uh, that uh, that guy who uh, there was a movie inspired from that sonam wangchuk and all if you watch their youtube videos you will see how they are giving uh, wifi connectivity in le ladakh okay go and see uh sonam wangchuk i am not pronouncing his name properly i think okay so you will see how they have added the vsat and uh, some random videos you will come to see 
ATM also uses VSET technologies. Yes. ATM Wi-Fi. देखो मुझे इंटरनेट भेजना है इफ आई वॉन्ट टू गिव इंटरनेट कनेक्टिविटी टू द ए टी एम मशीन ओके मे बी लेट्स टॉक अबाउट इन इन द कश्मीर इन द वेरी वेरी रिमोट एरिया ऑब्वियसली ए टी एम्स आर मोस्टली एवरी वेयर राइट देन हाउ दे विल बी गिविंग कनेक्टिविटी दे गिव कनेक्टिविटी विद द वी सेट दिस टाइप ऑफ रेडियो एंटीनाज एंड ऑल ओके एंड दिस इज द टाइप ऑफ एंटीना नाउ डेज वी हैव वाई फाई and this is called mimo when a wifi device have two antennas or four antennas or eight antennas this is called mimo device okay so if i show you nowadays if you buy a gaming because gaming needs high high connectivity so if i show you gaming wifi router so gaming wifi router means lot of wifi so these four antennas why four antennas are required because signal strength will be very high okay antennas will give you much better connectivity if you have one single wifi so the more antennas the more cost to the wifi device clear everyone okay ye isliye nahi lagaya ki ye dikhave ke liye kaiyon ko to yahi lag raha tha aaj tak ki bhai iske andar ye dekho kitne antenna so this antenna because if it is highly powerful device how it is going to give the like how the multiple devices are going to connect suppose you have connected your laptop computer playstation lot of things you have you are a rich kid okay so then how it will be so this is the wifi router 10 gbps high speed okay which will give you better connectivity you can see you can add a nas storage which is uh, like if you have a nas storage you can have a pen drive 2.4 gbps wifi or internet connection you can connect here okay so these are the power jacks and all okay so just keep checking about these devices you will uh, going to improve your knowledge into this domain okay so whenever you learn about wifi so can you see what examples i am giving you right now i can only show you the slides also but why i am showing you amazon every time so that you understand what is going in the industry are you getting my point samajh aa raha hai ppt se nahi wifi sikhta koi bhi banda okay you will not learn wifi with the slides and books you will see when you actually practically understand the scenarios okay that's why i'm showing you all those stuff theek hai ki practical knowledge hai nahi bane ho network engineer kisi ne puch le char antenna isme kyun hai to kya bologe dikhave ke liye <laughs> right so that's why the bookish knowledge is always bookish knowledge so bookish knowledge with the real time knowledge plus labs all three combination is best okay so when you connect two laptops with each other this is called a network which is called ad hoc uh, again this will not come in interview this can be asked in the ccna or ccnp exam that what when two computers are connected tell me which wifi they are which wifi network they are ad hoc bolte hai na hotspot on kar lo hotspot hoc ad hoc means that you are connecting without access point ad hoc means without access point and this is also called independent basic service set ibss independent this ad hoc is also called independent basic service set <coughs> service set so then we have this one wifi and multiple wifi devices only we have one wifi so this is called <coughs> this is called infrastructure mode but this one wifi is called bss bss basic service set this is like design okay when you have multiple wifi this is called extended service set okay again it can be asked in uh, in the 
exam okay which when two laptops are connected that is ibss bss or ess tell me in the chat kya hai when two laptops are connected they are ibss bss or ess <coughs> ibss very good so when when two or more wifi device wifi access point when two or more two or more okay wifi devices are there then this is what we call ess and when we have only one access point this terminology this is what we call terminology okay so ye kya bolte hain ibss bss ess let me show you i'm not sure if there is this is in the slide and yeah hai dekho aage tha maine pehle hi bata diya tumhe ye raha basic service set bss extended service set when you have two or more wifi devices that ess when you have single wifi device that's bss and there is i ibss also independent basic service set where we do not have the access point okay clear so these are called wlan operation <laughs> okay so now when it comes to the ethernet uh, frame if you understand your normal ethernet frame if i show you 802.3 ethernet frame to sabhi ne frame dekha hoga kaisa hota right not photo frame this frame ethernet frame so in the ethernet frame normal ethernet frame what we have तो हमारे वाईफाई के ओके सो दिस इज व्हाट वी कॉल इथरनेट फ्रेम वेरी सिंपल इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस देखो सो दिस इज योर डेस्टिनेशन मैक एड्रेस दिस इज योर सोर्स मैक एड्रेस दिस इज द इथर टाइप इथर टाइप दैट व्हिच प्रोटोकॉल यू आर कैरिंग इफ यू आर कैरिंग आईपीवी फोर देन देर विल बी ए कोड लाइक एट थाउजेंड समथिंग ओके सो दिस इज कॉल्ड इथर टाइप विच लेयर थ्री प्रोटोकॉल यू आर कैरिंग If you are using ARP, then there will be a different code. If you are using IPv6, then there will be a different code. Okay, so this is the normal data. All data comes under this. This is also called payload. Okay, the data is called payload in technical language. The frame check sequence, because whenever a data is transferred from one computer to another, okay, from one computer to another, they will be sending that information in the format of frame. okay frame so inside frame in this data inside frame what we will have frame ke andar agar hum open karenge inside frame we have what packet inside packet what we have source ip destination ip ttl value okay all this stuff we have in the packet okay and then after even if you open the packet in the packet packet we will get what segment in the segment what we will have source port number destination port number sequence number acknowledgement number if it is a udp tcp tcp packet okay in the frame we have source mac address destination mac address okay i would recommend you to watch my osi model video okay so just go and check my osi model video if you do not understand uh, what we call uh, the frame packet and all there are a lot of videos guys whenever you guys uh, got time just go and check networking's videos okay and just uh, have a look on suppose you want to learn about osi model okay so just uh, type here osi model okay so i have almost 20 plus videos 30 plus videos on only osi model so if you want to improve your basics okay even we have created the network animation videos also okay so go and see these we have done a lot of hard work by creating these animation videos also so just keep watching again and again it will improve your knowledge okay i am not saying to get more views because i am not running ads on youtube okay it's about your knowledge so now if you talk about 802.11 frame it is similar like ethernet frame if you normally understand normal ethernet frame just we got some additional fields here 
okay in the header it is similar like ethernet frame but it got some extra fields okay <coughs> which we can discuss okay to understand the ethernet wifi sorry wifi we need to understand there is a terminology called csma ca which stand for carrier sense multiple access carrier sense multiple access this is the full form and collision avoidance because when you are on the wifi and if you connect at the same time okay so there was very very old terminology which was csma cd boring hai vairese to theek hai but sun lo chalo koi baat nahi okay this csma cd is a very very old technology kind of okay so what will happen in this technology that if two computers when two computers send data at the same time what will happen do you think the data will go this is a hub device it's a very very old device which is hub so is case mein kya hota tha in this type of situation the collision will occur okay what will happen collision will occur means devices will not be able to send the data to agar signal ho gaya bhai to kya hoga if collision happen the csma cd i am trying to explain you guys very very old technology we do not have to read too much but i am just giving the basic knowledge pehle hum bahut padhate the isko bhi theek hai ab ki zarurat nahi hai because very old okay <laughs> so when two devices send the data at the same time i hope i remember that content let me try okay so in the old csma cd okay so in the lan cable we have cd in the wifi we have ca okay in the carrier sense multiple avoidance the first term is called access and the second word is detection okay so whatever so when two devices are going to share data at the same time okay what will happen collision detection collision ho gaya collision happens and we did de detected the collision we did detected detect the error or collision detected okay so when the collision happens so both computers will generate random timer older days i am talking about 1980s 90s 80s 90s so when we used to use this device called hub at that time if two computers which is very rare if two data sent together collision will happen and there is a zam signal zam zam signal something so this signal will go okay so computer will automatically generate a timer like i will send data after 15 second now and this computer will say okay i will send data after 20 second now so when the collision occur okay first it will avoid how it will avoid because if computer d is sending data first it will check no is there anyone who is sending data samjhe ho तो अगर डी ने कोई भी डेटा भेजना है इफ डी वॉन्ट्स टू सेंड अ डेटा इट विल चेक इज देर एनी वन हुई सेंडिंग डेटा सो दिस इज वॉट वी कॉल द फर्स्ट स्टेप इज कॉल्ड अवॉइडेंस बिकॉज एवरी वन विल चेक बिफोर सेंडिंग एनी डेटा एवरी वन विल चेक दैट इज देर एनी वन हुई सेंडिंग डेटा दैट्स कॉल्ड अवॉइडेंस बट इन केस इफ बोथ सेंड सेम टाइम बिकॉज एंड बोथ बिकॉज इफ होस्ट डी सिंग और होस्ट ए सिंग both are sending the signal at the same time at that point of time the detection will happen the collision detection will happen so this is the concept of csma cd first it will avoid the det error detection collision it collision it will avoid the collision but in case if both devices send signal at the same time then we will detect the collision and with the help of this zamp signal zamp signal okay the computers will automatically generate the random timers and then 
because now we are sending data after 15 second now this is sending after 20 second so there will be no collision after that so this is in the case of when we have the hub devices okay that's why the terminology come but in the wi-fi in wi-fi devices we can't uh, avoid we can only avoid the data okay so you can see we will be listened to the channel if it is idle no other traffic currently on the channel so when i'm sending a data from suppose if i'm uploading a youtube video from wi-fi okay so i'm just checking is there anyone who is sending data and all kind of stuff okay so basically whenever i upload anything whenever i connect wi-fi and all so i send rts message to ap to request dedicated access to the network okay that i want to connect with the wi-fi or when you connect with the wi-fi and all so receives a clear send cts message from ap granting access to send so jabbi hum wi-fi se connect karte whenever we connect with wi-fi so these are the two messages that wi-fi my computer will send a ready to send message ready to send message to the wi-fi and then the wi-fi device will be clear to send cts message <coughs> to send the data and we will wait a random amount of time before restarting the process. So then we transmit. So basically this all Wi-Fi devices, whenever we send a data and all, okay. Uh, nowadays it is not a problem because all the latest technologies I mentioned, they have the memos. So nowadays you do not have these type of problems because you have multiple Wi-Fi antennas and multiple devices can send at the same time all. But still the WLAN CSMSCA is a topic which can be normally uh, uh, in the exam point of view, they can ask you, okay, tell me uh, what is full form of RTS? Okay, or what is the, what two signals are used in CSMSCA? And they will give option RTS, CTS, PTS, GTS. And then you have to uh, select these two MCQ question, multiple choice question that RTS and CTS is the answer. This is only for the exam point of view, nothing related to the world, the real world. Okay, so this is wireless client and access point association. This is what happens. So whenever my Wi-Fi device try to find wireless signals, we discover the access point first with Wi-Fi. And when I connect the Wi-Fi, I put a password, then device will go with the password. It will authenticate. It will compare, okay, this is the password, is the correct password. Then if the password is get connected or corrected, uh, Wi-Fi is correct, then it will associate with the access point. It means to connect normal Wi-Fi, kaise connect karto? you connect with the Wi-Fi password, then it is connected. So normally we discover the access point, obviously, by going to this access point. Then we put a password. This is basic, right? This is normal. So these are the normal uh, technical words we use. SSID, Wi-Fi ke naam ko. Wi-Fi name is called SSID. Okay, Wi-Fi name is called SSID, Service Set Identifier. Okay, Service Set Identifier. Then we have password. Then we have network mode. That what type of pass mode you want to use 11G. You want to use 11N which is common. AC is the latest uh, with little higher speed. AX is more faster. And the BE, I think, is the highest Wi-Fi 7, right? So these are the Wi-Fi standards. What Wi-Fi standard you are going to use? And then after that, we have security policy. Jabbi hum Wi-Fi ki security lagate, whenever we put a Wi-Fi security, so what kind of Wi-Fi password you want to use? You want to use WEP? which is wide equivalent privacy. Look, I don't remember all these things. So, that's why I know full forms. Wide equivalent. Maybe I'm wrong somewhere. Just to verify wide equivalent privacy something. Okay, then we have WP Wi-Fi protected access. Then after that, we have another version Wi-Fi protected access 2. And now we have Wi-Fi protected access 3. So, what are the difference? Why these numbers WPA, WPA2, WPA3, why they are increasing? Because the security levels are increasing day by day. Okay, they use some different encryption. 
the WPA3 is using more high encryption. Okay. So then we have the channel settings. There are some bands you want to use 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz. Malab Wi-Fi mein agar aap dekha jaye, in Wi-Fi we have around 4 or 5 things. One is Wi-Fi name, then Wi-Fi password, then on what Wi-Fi standard it is working, N, A, C, A, X, B, E, what password level, what security mode you are using, WPA, WPA2, WPA3. Okay. And then what frequency you are using, 2.4 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz or 6 gigahertz. Okay. So, ye panch char cheeze hi hai. Only those four or five things are, okay, there. Okay, so let's take a five minutes break, guys. And trust me, this is the, I hope in, we are doing the best Wi-Fi class. Okay, so we will be discussing after five minutes. What is this passive mode? What is this active mode? And what is this beacon? What is this probe? There is a probe also. Okay. So come after five minutes. If the session is going good, just give me thumbs up with your camera on. I will boring, boring. I will boring. I will be boring. I will be boring. I will be Good. Okay. Okay. So after this session, you will be able to clear Wi-Fi interviews. Parvinder, where are you, man? You are doctor and you are becoming network engineer. <laughs> okay, guys. See you after five minutes.
Okay, guys, I'm back. Okay, so. Hmm. So now we have uh, two modes, as I mentioned. Okay, so dekho hota hai how Wi-Fi devices. And uh, so when you click on Wi-Fi, you see there are some Wi-Fi signals are coming, right? That uh, company name or maybe your neighbor name, Wi-Fi, all Wi-Fi names, okay? Like cool dude, whatever Wi-Fi names you guys have in your area. Okay, so maybe, so my Wi-Fi name is suppose uh, uh, Atul Wi-Fi, okay? NK Wi-Fi, all these Wi-Fi names are coming because all the laptops, all the Wi-Fi devices, they send probe request. Okay, so all computers, when you click on the Wi-Fi, my computer send a signal that is called probe. Because probe is going and asking, can you give me the Wi-Fi name? So the probe signal is called Wi-Fi. Ka naam leke aata hai. Okay, so what is the Wi-Fi name and what are the standards? Like the Wi-Fi is giving me 802.g and whatever, right? So the probe request will go and the access point or the Wi-Fi devices will give you probe response. So they will give you SSID means Wi-Fi name. They will give you supported standard that your device support or not. Some security settings. Okay. So this happens in the active mode. What is active mode? Wireless client must know the name of SSID. Because sometimes you see that you put a Wi-Fi name, then only you connect with the Wi-Fi. Yes or no? Aisa hota na, kahin bar kam, khud Wi-Fi ka naam hume dalna padta, tab aap Wi-Fi, even you can go and configure in your Wi-Fi device by hide the SSID. You go to your Wi-Fi device and hide SSID. So then what will happen? You have to enter your Wi-Fi name. Then you have to enter your password and all. Then the Wi-Fi access point will give you permission to connect with the Wi-Fi. This is called active mode. And what is passive mode? You are not putting Wi-Fi name. Automatically access point are sending signal to you. They are called beacons. Beacons. B-E-A-C-U-N. So they will be sending multiple Wi-Fi names, right? At your laptop. Like you see ABC, 123, Wi-Fi, 3C, all Wi-Fi names, what you see, they are coming on your laptop because the access point is sending beacons and wireless client is looking at in the, in the uh, Windows operating system, Linux, Mac OS, ev in every, even your mobile also, you can see the Wi-Fi names. That is because of those beacons. So, whenever you see a Wi-Fi name, they are beacons. Okay? They are called Wi-Fi beacons. And when you click on the Wi-Fi name, put the Wi-Fi password, all those things. So, whenever a computer, laptop, mobile phones, when they send signals, they are called probe, request. And whenever you get a uh, Wi-Fi range, all those stuff, they are called broadcast beacon frames. So basically, Wi-Fi is also working on layer 2 kind of. It is also in the terminology, in the frames, we will be discussing this. Ki Wi-Fi frame, okay, wireless frame. So it is like a layer 2. Okay, so this is what we have, passive and active discover mode. That we have two type of discovery method to find the Wi-Fi. One is passive where you just click and see all the Wi-Fi names. That's because of access point is sending you beacons and you can see all those beacons in the form of Wi-Fi names. And the another is active mode where you put the Wi-Fi and then you connect with the access point in a hidden uh, format, okay? That you can't see the Wi-Fi name publicly, but <coughs> you know the Wi-Fi name. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, so now... In Cisco, we have a protocol which is called CAPWAP. Very cool name, CAPWAP. Okay, so CAPWAP protocol is a IEEE protocol, first of all. And this is basically a protocol that enables a WLC. 
आई टोल्ड यू डब्ल्यू एल सी इज ए कंट्रोलर विच मैनेज इज ऑल एक्सेस पॉइंट सो बेसिकली एक्सेस पॉइंट एंड डब्ल्यू एल सी दे कम्युनिकेट विद दी हेल्प ऑफ कैप वेब प्रोटोकॉल ओके तो कैप वेब प्रोटोकॉल क्या है इट्स ओपन स्टैंडर्ड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल नॉट इन सिस्को कैप वेब वर्क ऑन डिफरेंट वेंडर्स एचपी अरूबा वायरलेस यूबी क्विटी ओके इवन द जूनी पर मिस्ट ऑल दो सपोर्ट कैप वैप ओके एंड एंड दिस बेस्ड ऑन द सिस्को हैज देर ओन प्रोटोकॉल ऑल्सो विच इज कॉल्ड लाइट वेट एक्सेस ए पी पी ऑल्सो एल्ड वैप ओके But based on this Cisco own protocol LDAP, it has additional security which is called DTLS. And this DTLS is the same protocol what we use in SD WAN technology. Okay, like in SD WAN we have a device called vManage. All those uh, uh, the cloud V edge routers, they have the tunnel. All those stuff are on the DTLS. So DT DLTS is called Datagram Transport Layer Security. So there is a protocol which gives security and whatever communication is happening between access point and wlc is secure so that nobody can see what is the what uh, what signals are going on because the signals are in the air and you want to protect the data is going in the wifi it should be encrypted that's why we use cap wap and the cap wap protocol uses dlts method so basically it encapsulate and forward wlan client traffic between access point and wlc over a tunnels so all the data which is going from this computer to wifi a access point to the company network all these things are on work under okay so you can see encapsulate and forward wlan client traffic means the this this wireless traffic between access point and the wlc over a tunnels on udp 5246 and 5247 so these are the two port numbers where my access point and wlc is talking and they are sending the cap wap signals theek hai to simple sa logic hai bhai wlc aur access point ke beech mein ek protocol use hota hai cap wap bolte hain और वो सिक्योरिटी के लिए डीएलटीएस प्रोटोकॉल को यूज करता है और वही प्रोटोकॉल ये 5246 और 5247 पोर्ट नंबर यूज करते हैं क्लियर हो गया ठीक है सो दिस सो दीज प्रोटोकॉल्स वर्क विद आईपीवी फोर एंड आईपीवी सिक्स बोथ आईपीवी फोर यूज इज प्रोटोकॉल नंबर 17 एंड आईपीवी सिक्स यूज इज प्रोटोकॉल नंबर वन थर्टी This cap wrap work on protocol number, uh, sorry UDP. UDP works on protocol number seventeen. Okay, and this this cap wrap is using DLTS, DLTS data gram transport layer security, which is a UDP based because it is using UDP port number. So UDP ke ye port number use honge. These will be the UDP port numbers, and this will be the UDP protocol number. So UDP protocol number is seventeen and IPv six UDP is one thirty six. So if I, देखो theory थोड़ी tough होती है, okay? But trust me, आज पढ़ लिया तो पढ़ लिया, अपने आप तो कोई नहीं पढ़ता. <laughs> right so a cap wrap full form is not added here let me add here so the cap wrap stand for how to add a color guys stolen okay so cap wrap stand for control and provisioning of wireless access point आपको याद रहना है कंट्रोल एंड प्रोविजनिंग ओके सो लेट्स डिवाइड कैप कंट्रोल एंड प्रोविजनिंग एंड वैप मींस वायरलेस एक्सेस पॉइंट क्लियर 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 एंड देयर इज अ सिस्को वन व्हिच इज एल डैप एल डब्ल्यू ए पी पी व्हिच इज लाइट वेट एक्सेस कहा गया नहीं लिखा था 
So this is lightweight access point protocol. Okay, so let me add here also. And I'll share lightweight access point protocol. Okay. So try to. <coughs> okay, so basically this is the thing guys, you can see access point and WLC. We have the, we have two things. One is called cap web control, like uh, sending the data and all. Okay, so that D D DTLS will be going to encrypt this data when I'm sending some important packets. But where, whenever I'm actually forwarding the data, that's called cap web data. So if you read here, don't get bored. Okay, so whenever you feel like little boring, the topics are little boring. So consider in this way, this is very, very unique concept. I am learning right I, whenever remember one thing in life whenever things are boring it means they are the actual secret to success like people uh, they always always bore they do not learn quality of service and a lot of interviews ask quality of service okay they do not know multicast lot of companies ask multicast are you getting so jitni cheez boring hogi Utne zada interview mein puchi jayegi. IPv6. Lot of people don't learn IPv6. And lot of companies are asking. Okay, so these are also asked wireless, quality of service, multicast, IPv6. Even when I used to learn, even I felt very boring. I, I hate IPv6 earlier. Three years down the line, trust me. I never touch IPv6. I never, I feel like I always give excuses. IPv6 is not implemented right now. I'm talking about 2011 and 12. Okay. So, right. So, whenever you run from any topic, it means that is the secret. Okay. So, now understand coming back to the topic DTLS encryption. So, as I mentioned, CAP, WAP is doing some encryption and it is using this DTLS and DTLS provides security between access point and the WLC because all the communication between access point and WLC will happen with the help of cap web. And by default, this DTLS encryption, it is enabled by default to secure the cap web control channel. Control channel means the communication between, okay. Control and provision wireless access point full form and encrypt all management and control traffic between means suppose you want to set a password Wi-Fi. So you set a password from WLC and the password is going and changing in the access point. So that all information is encrypted. But data encryption is disabled by default. It means we require a DTLS license to be installed on the WLC before it can be enabled on the AP. Means you need some additional security licenses to encrypt the data as well. Okay. So that's the story. <coughs> so now you understand there is a terminology here, which is called cap. So flex connect access point. So flex connect kya karta hai? What is flex connect? It enables the configuration and control of APs over a WAN link. So just imagine we have a branch office. We have a corporate office. Okay. From branch office to a, I'm managing my Wi-Fi. I mean, so my branch is in Delhi. My corporate office is in Bangalore. Okay, sorry about my pen is just doing this stuff. It is just, yeah. So, so Delhi, core branch office, Bangalore. So just imagine you have a WLC in Bangalore and your Delhi Wi-Fi is managing or like the Bangalore office can handle your branch office in Delhi. Wi-Fi I'm talking about. Okay, so your flex connect cheese, the flex connect enables 
the configuration of Wi-Fi and control of access point over the WAN link. So, जब भी कोई पूछेगा what is flex connect? Remember, flex connect means manage access point over wide area network. Clear? Flex connect का मतलब क्या भाई Wi-Fi devices को WAN network पे manage करने को flex connect बोलते हैं Cisco वाले. Clear? Okay. So now we have two mode. One is called connected mode. One is called standalone mode. Connected mode means when the WLC is working very fine, perfect. Everything is going flawlessly. There is no problem at all. The WLC is reachable. WLC chal raya. The WLC is reachable. The Flex Connect AP has a cap wrap connectivity because between access point and WLC we have which connectivity? Cap wrap, right? With the WLC through the cap wrap tunnel, which is on UDP port numbers. Abhi padhe the. Kya the port numbers? Tell me what were the pro port numbers? Port number kya the? Five or four? Five two four six tha ek to five two four seven tha do the na. So remember these small small things five two four six five two four seven. This DLTS is a encryption uh, protocol. The cap wrap is using DLTS for the encryption and the tunnel is created and 5246-5247. Then we have this encryption is happening by default. Cap wrap control is happening by default, but cap wrap is disabled by default. You need different additional licenses for that. Okay, then a flex connect access point, which is amazing thing in Cisco. You can connect to your branch office with corporate office access point to WLC over the internet, over the VPN tunnel, anything. Just you connect to branch office and corporate office and the access point will be getting information from the WLC in the corporate office. So one, we have connected mode where WLC is working fine. Everything is okay. Okay, then we have a standalone mode. Standalone mode kya hota hai? The standalone mode means the WLC is unreachable. Now the WLC is gone. The flex connect AP, this access point is going to use his own brain now. His own hit because it also has some features which do not have the features like WLC because this is the core device of wireless networks. But Flex Connect AP can assume some of the WLC functions such as switching, client data traffic, means Wi-Fi will still work. Even if this device is down, still you can send data to access point and it can go to internet everywhere. Everything is, will work fine. But when the WLC is operation, operational, then only you can manage this from corporate office. Okay, that's called a connected mode. And when the WLC or access point connectivity is no more, there is no problem. Wi-Fi will still work, but with the old configuration, everything. Okay. So if you set a password of this access point is Cisco 123. Okay. So suppose, and if the WLC is not working, so still you can connect a laptop with this Wi-Fi with this password. Okay. It does not require a WLC to be operational because WLC is a device which manages all access points. Okay. So if WLC is gone, it does not mean that Wi-Fi will stop. No. Wi-Fi will not stop. Samaj hai? Again, some theory part. <coughs> तो इसको मैं और थोड़ा try करता हूँ समझाने की ऐसे नहीं समझ आएगा so this is called DSSS, FHSS and OFDM so these are basically spread spectrum techniques बताता हूँ क्या होती है
बड़ी अजीब जी फोटो लगानी पड़ रही है मुझे सो दिस इज नॉट वेरी मच सो बेसिकली सिग्नल्स होते हैं ऐसे ना स्पेड स्पेक्ट्रम ओके सो लेट्स कंसिडर ओके सी द सिग्नल्स सो कुछ आई एम जस्ट गिविंग एन एग्जाम्पल सो लाइक दिस इज कॉल्ड डायरेक्ट सीक्वेंस स्पेड स्पेक्ट्रम सो दिस टाइप ऑफ वाई फाई सिग्नल सो फ्रीक्वेंसी चैनल सैचुरेशन सो मॉड्यूलेशन टेक्निक मॉड्यूलेशन क्या होता है वॉट इज मॉड्यूलेशन बाय द वे Converting your analog signal into digital signal is called modulation. Demodulation means converting the same digital signal into analog is demodulation. Digital electronics का teacher लग रहा हूँ मुझे आज में. Okay. So modulation. इतना वैसे डीप में नहीं जाना है हमें बिकॉज वी आर नॉट फ्रॉम द सिग्नल्स बट स्टिल यू कैन हैव बेसिक इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट दैट कोई ना गुड अच्छा पिक्चर भी नहीं है But I hope you got the point, right? So where the signals are similar in FHSS spectrum, you can see. Okay, similar with the proper gap is called frequency hop spread spectrum. Like transmit radio signals by rapidly switching a carrier signal among many frequency signals. Like sender and receiver must be synchronized to know which channel to jump used by original eight zero two dot eleven standard. Ye. 11 वाले मेथड में यूज होता था इट इज इन दू डॉट इलेवन स्टैंडर्ड लाइक सिग्नल आर स्विचिंग ए करियर सिग्नल ओके सो इट इज लाइक समटाइम्स ए टॉपिक इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू टीच एंड दिस इज काइंड ऑफ द टॉपिक बिकॉज इट्स नॉट नेटवर्किंग इट्स सिग्नलिंग बेसिकली सो इसका ना थ्योरी में तो बहुत इजीली एग्जांपल मिल जाएंगे हमें इफ वी लुक फॉर द कंपैरिजन आई मीन डीएसएस एंड ऑल वी विल गेट मोर कंपैरिजन्स हमने भी बीटेक में पढ़े थे Okay, let me add one more thing so that you get more clarity on this. Okay, it is like uh, you can see here the comparison. So basically, throughput throughput means high speed you will get in DSSS, not in FHSS. Capacity transmission distance long is ka DSSS have a higher range, FHSS has a medium range. So because every signal, if we understand the signaling, this DSSS signal is better. okay so a modulation technique designed to spread a signal over a large frequency band and this is used by 802.11b and this is used in the 2.4 gigahertz frequency the further fhss which is not much used because it's a very old 802.11 standard and if we talk about ofdm which is called orthogonal kya tha orthogonal frequency division multiplexing this is like multiple stream of signals overlap hota hai isme signal na zyada tar ye bhi use hota hai aajkal yahi use hota hai orthophone orthogonal frequency 
अभी तुम्हें ज्यादा समझ आएगा देखो इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड ओ एफ डी एम वाई फाई सिग्नल सो नाउ दिस इज ऑल ओ एफ डी एम सो ऑल ओ एफ डी एम रिप्रेजेंट लाइक like this if you see the picture properly yeah okay so you can see some bars which are going on the top and coming down and all so these are like ofdms okay like where i am keep ofdm means like i have orthogonal frequency division multiplexing means the signals are intersecting each other adjacent frequency means very very Near by to each other. Okay, so if I say you two point four gigahertz, तो अब ये देखो इसमें अब तुम्हें और ज़्यादा clarity आएगी. Boring लग रहा है थोड़ा सा कोई बात नहीं. ये देखो अब. So this is an example of OFDM. You can see we have one channel, then second channel. So basically in Wi-Fi devices we have some channels. So remember. so there are three frequency channel saturations dss fhs ofdm so mostly every wifi is on the ofdm that's why they are giving example that ofdm so if you understand this is dss kind of spectrum then we have fhs spectrum and now we have this this spectrum which is ofdm so now 2.2 when we talk about 2.4 gigahertz band तो ये क्या होता है 2.4 पॉइंट फोर गीगा हर्ट सो बेसिकली वी हैव वी हैव रेंज फ्रॉम टू पॉइंट टू 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 पॉइंट फाइव देर इज अ रेंज टू पॉइंट टू से टू पॉइंट फाइव के बीच में जो भी सिग्नल स्ट्रेंथ है सिग्नल स्ट्रेंथ ओके सो वन सिग्नल इज दिस वन इज दिस वन इज दिस सो दीज सिग्नल्स आर कॉल्ड चैनल्स ओके सो वेन एवर ए डिवाइस इज ट्रांसमिटिंग एनी थिंग और समथिंग दैट so we have the channels okay so now if you see the orange channel this is called channel 1 okay and the second channel which is not intersecting this is the called sixth channel and then we have the third channel which is called 11 channel so it means in normal wifi devices in the 2.4 gigahertz frequency your wifi will work in three channels 1 6 11 so whenever you add wifi devices in office or anywhere okay so you have to look for that one device should be in the channel 1 the other would be in the 6th one another will be in the 11 to jab bhi aap apna design banaoge okay so you should place your wifi devices in such a pattern that they do not uh, disturb other wifi devices okay the best plan is this guys that you should put wifi devices in this manner so these are called wifi channels and nowadays all wifi have auto auto channel automatically detect kar leta mera 1 pe chal raha hai 6 pe chal raha hai 11 pe chal raha hai okay so in the 2.4 gigahertz frequency we have 1 to 11 channels okay but the three channels are not intersecting not disturbing each other these are 1 6 11 channel and you have to plan your wifi in such a way that these wifi devices not create issue with each other okay so this is what we call 1 6 11 heat map you can say or because wifi designs are called heat maps theek hai to jab bhi aap wifi lagaoge okay if i show you wifi padhane ke liye bahut mehnat karni padti hai itne screenshot <coughs> ye dekho suppose this is your office network right and one of the wifi i'm talking about right now 2.4 gigahertz frequency 5 gigahertz has a different channels okay so normal 2.4 gigahertz frequency 
So if you see here, so this Wi-Fi is in my one room. I am putting it in channel six. The other side room we are putting in the channel eleven. Okay. Then again we put in the channel six. So you can see the channel six is giving giving me Wi-Fi range this green signal. This green represents my channel six. Means this area is covering with channel six. Okay. Maybe it is transmitting on two point four gigahertz frequency. The channel eleven is like purple one. Okay, you can see here. Okay, so you should not have too much green. You should not have too much purple. You should not have too much uh, red. Are you getting my point, guys? So you have to place your Wi-Fi in such a way that you do not create big areas which will create issues. Okay, and it will disturb the signals. So this Wi-Fi and this Wi-Fi is too far away. So you can see this is the boundary. That's why you can place channel six to another channel six. Okay, but you should not put them in a nearby state because every Wi-Fi device has a range, like twenty feet, twenty-five feet. On every Wi-Fi device, it will be written, right? So you should place your Wi-Fi in such a way. Okay. So remember, channel one operates on some two point four, two point three gigahertz. Channel six, channel eleven. And these three frequencies are not overlapping each other. That's why these Wi-Fi channels are called the best Wi-Fi channels in the world. One six eleven. YouTube में मैं देख रहा हूँ YouTube में मेरी शादी की बातें चल रही हैं. <laughs> तुम पढ़ने पे ध्यान दिया करो यार क्या चल रहा है तुम्हारा मैं पढ़ा रहा हूं वाई फाई वन सिक्स इलेवन टू पॉइंट फोर की गार्ड फ्रीक्वेंसी और ये मेरी फ्रीक्वेंसी लगाने में लगे हुए ओके ओके सो नाउ वी हैव चैनल फाइव की गार्ड दिस फाइव की गार्ड has a lot of channels but the overlapping channels are 36 48 and 60 okay so when we talk about these wifi so there are a lot of wifi channels again i'm saying in the normal 5 gigahertz if i show you 5 gigahertz you will be surprised that in 5 gigahertz we are getting so many channels So five gigahertz has this nine channels which are not overlapping. So this is called five gigahertz channel. Okay, nowadays uh, Wi-Fi is are on five also two point four because two point four remember will always give you high range. Okay, so these are called two point four gigahertz channels. Okay, there are three only. We have only three. One six eleven, which will not overlap, but in five gigahertz you get nine channels, thirty six fifty two, forty eight sixty. You can remember few ones, thirty eight, thirty six, forty eight sixty, or no ke no yaad rakhoge to bahut badiya bhai, ठीक है? So chhatti chhatti, chhonsat, chowlis, ऐसे कुछ याद रख लो दो चार. So thirty six forty six, okay, or thirty six forty eight sixty. That's I think. uh some people can ask you okay tell me some channel names of 5 gigahertz this can be your interview question okay normally they will not ask you to all channels you do not have to remember all the numbers but if anybody ask you uh some uh, what are 2.4 gigahertz wifi channels 1611 ye to puri duniya ko pata hai 1611 are the uh, 2.4 channels and 5 gigahertz has uh 36 60 48 all these numbers okay so now as i mentioned uh, that we should place our wifi devices in such a way that we should not overlap with each other okay and these are designs are called heat maps so when you join your companies they will give you some softwares when you work on wifi so these are called heat maps so there are a lot of softwares available in the market like cisco prime which is now called cisco dna 
Okay, so there are other vendors also who create, but these are the two softwares what people companies are using according to Cisco, like where we can design the heat maps and all. Okay, where you can place your Wi-Fi, you can see what is going on in which branch office. Your signals are getting disturbed. Which Wi-Fi is down? You can check the health. Everything you can check from there. So wireless security is very very important. La last ten minutes, guys. So wireless security is very okay. Configuration will be in the next class. Okay. So wireless is open to anyone and anybody can attack. Yes or no? तुम्हारे फोन के अंदर भी वाईफाई है राइट नाउ डेज यू कैन पुट एक्स इन एंड्रॉइड फोन एंड कनेक्ट विद योर ऑफिस नेटवर्क एंड ट्राई टू स्टील इन्फॉर्मेशन ट्राई टू अटैक ओके डोंट डू दैट बिकॉज ऑन योर ऑफर लेटर यू ऑलरेडी साइंड दैट आई बी लॉयल टू माई कंपनी सो अटैक्स कैन बी जनरेटेड बाई आउटसाइडर्स ऑब्वियसली वी इंटरनल इंप्लॉयज विल नोट Do, will not do that until unless they are not getting salary hikes. This grunt lead employees, but a okha jana aji, chalo aagya. Okay, he un unintentionally by employees, unintentionally, not intentionally. Okay, interception. So what could be the problems? Interception of data. Anybody can check what is going inside the data. Wireless intruders. denial of attacks denial of service attacks means you can attack your network you can create wrong wifis and what will happen the, re, the your company employees will be connected to the wrong wifi like if you suppose uh, one of the employee create a lan cable and convert the lan cable into hotspot and using the hotspot for his own streaming downloading data Uh, are doing some attacks okay maybe he's trying to do some uh, like some wifi attacks or maybe he is just uh, randomly downloading torrent and got some virus okay so it can be any unethical activity which we should not entertain as a network expert network security engineers we need to make sure we should not give if anybody tried so that's why you can't create hotspots in wifi uh, in the company you have to disable those uh, uh, features in the windows uh, operating system or any operating system so wireless dos attacks can create problem because dos attacks go and check dos attack animation video on the channel so improperly configured devices a malicious user intentionally interfering with the wireless communication means it can ruin my network it can create damages to my wifi network it can steal information it can because you want to protect your passwords you have the office backups of network configurations okay so it you can ruin the network basically not you basically attackers okay so we need to protect right and what is rog access points so this means again access a create uh, like for example a user with secure wifi network enable their windows host to become a wifi access point like hotspot so this can be a problem and that's why windows uh, administrators team which is called server engineers okay which will disable all the active directory uh, windows features from the active directory so that people cannot turn on their uh, what we call hotspot okay you have to disable those things okay with the help of windows engineers and all okay uh, so that nobody can enable the hotspots and all <laughs> okay so it can also create because those wifi will create man in the middle attacks man in the middle attacks means you as a employee and company as a organization in between there is a attacker okay because you connected to a wrong wifi and you are sharing the wrong files to attacker not to the company genuine wifi device okay so these can create issues in our company okay we need so basically in short we need to protect wireless lans and for that we have multiple things the first thing 
interview question how you will protect your company wifi network the first answer ssid cloaking what does it mean that you will disable the beacons of ssid means nobody can see your wifi names in their laptop hide the wifi name simple isko hum kya bolte hain this is called ssid cloaking that you disable the wifi name in the company very simple every company employee has to manually enter the ssid or if not employee that already when the employee enter their username and password it is connected to the active directory of windows server it will automatically authenticate and give you authentication authorization accounting all these things triple a server which is called which will give permission to wifi when you log in with your employee id have you seen guys when you enter your employee id and password in your laptop automatically you connect with the wifi of your office yes how to install kali linux in phone please go and check on google i wish i will teach some day uh parvinder we are actually live today so that's why we have not recorded so i'll put the download link uh, the youtube link uh, uh, to your class okay introduction of wireless is fundamental knowledge so that's why i just on the youtube live okay so mac address filtering the second security we can put is mac address filter normally we normally do not do this it's very hectic you go to the wifi devices and put the mac address of your employees and then only those devices are allowed you can do that okay when it they are the servers okay but normally for the normal employees and all this is not uh, uh, recommended because it's too complex to configure that you put the wifi devices and then put the mac address of all your employees it is little you can use a port security which is which binds the employee mac address in the switches okay but here we are talking about the wireless okay <laughs> so you can yes have wireless mac and put a, but yes this is uh i'm not saying it is not recommended it is just a complex to configure these things then you have open system authentication which means no password required so this is the third thing that uh, when you are on the uh, like you are uh, uh, like cafe you are on the airports you are on the hot hotels right there you do not need much security because already these uh, these are public places there there is no problem in that okay but nowadays even these airports hotels cafes you have to put the otp and all so that they can register they can capture your phone number so that they genuinely know that who connected with the wifi and all so this was called open system authentication okay so these are devices so some people ask me that what kind of devices we have to buy what hotel industry is using or okay so these are called open system authentication oss वो अलग ही डिवाइसेस आते हैं सो यू कैन सेट अप ओटीपी बेस्ड सिंपल ओटीपी लॉग इन सो दीज आर मोस्टली चाइनीज प्रोडक्ट इन द मार्केट ओके वेयर पीपल आर यूजिंग दोज काइंड ऑफ वाई फाई सिस्टम्स वेयर ऑथेंटिकेटेड सो आई एम जस्ट शोइंग यू आई एम नॉट शोइंग यू हाउ टू कॉन्फिगर राइट नाउ because i don't have that device but this happens in the coffee shops hotel because this is even i have a deck curiosity that how these hotel industries uh, or the mcdonalds we put a wifi and we get a authentication so basically ek ye dekho ek device hai so this is the device which is there likh nahi bahar aaj 
Okay. So you can see authentication SMS OTP, which is connected to internet. And these people will enter the mobile number and the normal Wi-Fi access point share that information with the authentication server and this authentication server connected to internet. So we verify the OTP and all. And there the coffee shop and the McDonald's, all these will give you. So basically we need this authentication and SMS OTP integration. So much. So market may as a bot device mil jayenge aapko so that you can see. There's a quick box, a uni box. I think uh, randomly I got the link. So this is a device uni box. Very Okay, so you just have to connect the Unibox in the system and uh, put the Wi-Fi devices, any Wi-Fi TP-Link, D-Link, because these are Wi-Fi extenders. And there you put all MAC address binding, AAA. Okay, you can have the credit card billing. You can have content filtering, block Facebook and all. All these are in the Unibox. Okay, I'm just giving an example. So there are a lot of devices, Chinese products are available. Where people, even I think uh, the brand, uh, if you talk about, I think HP, Aruba and all, they have this kind of feature, but you have to do some third party integrations. Okay. Direct to OTP, I think Cisco, Aruba, mein. you have to use some third party integration. So then we have shared key authentication. This is what we do at our home. We set a password, ABC123, okay, mommy, papa123, okay, all these passwords. What you have in the Wi-Fi, all these are called normal shared key authentication, where you use your shared key passwords. And these are the mechanisms which are security, WEP, WPA, WPA2, WPA3, all these are encryptions. Okay. So these are the encryptions. So WEP is very, very easy to crack. And I was in Dubai in 2011 and I cracked the WEP. I used a free Wi-Fi for almost three months. The Wi-Fi, the broadband plans were very high at that time. 50 drums, 50 AD, 50 to 60 AD. Okay. I don't know current price right now. And I bought 48, uh, like very small Wi-Fi device. And then... My neighbors were very good. They were using WEP authentication and just I used their internet for almost three, four months. And then they got new devices and the new devices had WPA2, WPA2. So this is very hard not to crack. WEP, trust me, you can break in five minutes. Not proper Kali Linux is required. Normal, even in Windows uh, softwares, you can use those tools. <coughs> okay. So these are the, um, because it uses some uh, very simple authentication. So you can see WP is no longer recommended and never should be used. I'm talking about 2011. Okay. So WPA Wi-Fi protected access. So this is secure because this is using TKIP, which is called Temporal Key Integrity Protocol. Okay. Mujhe lag raha hai, galat screen share kare baitha tha kaafi dheer se. Abhe yaar, chalo koi baat nahi. Thik hai, so we'll, uh, let's revise. I don't know from where I stopped. But, shit man. Bhoat panga ho gaya. Chalo koi nahi. Nahi, mujhe lag hai nahi ki. Achha. Okay. Chalo, koi baat nahi. I have already. Acha. Yahan tak to thik tha. Thik tha. Acha, main dikha idhar raha tha. Acha, thik hai. Kuch to aaya hai. Aisa nahi hai ki kuch nahi gaya. Kyunki idhar bhi screen share thi. Par idhar. 
गलत स्क्रीन शेयर हो गई थी चलो कोई बात नहीं बट लेट मी शो यू दैट वॉट वी डिस्कस्ड सो वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट एड हॉक वेयर आई वॉज ड्रॉइंग द पिक्चर्स एड हॉक इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर मोड टेदरिंग मोड देन वी हैव ई एस एस बी एस एस मॉडल दिस इज द इथरनेट फ्रेम फॉर्मेट एट जीरो टू डॉट इलेवन ए देन वी टॉक अबाउट सी एस एम एस सी डी ओके देन वायरलेस क्लाइंट एंड एपी एसोसिएशन देन वी फाइव थिंग्स आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके सो देयर वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट वाई फाई बीकन ऑल दी स्टफ ओके दिस ऑलरेडी आई शेयर आई थिंक यहां तक तो सब कुछ हुआ था ठीक है सो यू यू कैन हैव अ गुड रीड एंड जस्ट लिसन टू माई ऑडियो आई होप यू विल बी एबल टू कैप्चर ओके कैप वैप इज आई ट्रिपल ई प्रोटोकॉल ठीक है डी टी एल एस इंक्रिप्शन प्रोवाइड कर रहा है जो ठीक है फ्लेक्स कनेक्ट एपी वेयर यू कैन कनेक्ट यूर ब्रांच ऑफिस विद कॉर्पोरेट ऑफिस एंड देर आर टू मोड कनेक्टेड मोड वेयर डब्ल्यू एल सी शुड बी रीचेबल एंड स्टैंड अलोन मोड वेयर डी स्टैंड अलोन मोड इज नॉट इम्पॉर्टेंट ओके सो दीज आर द फ्रीक्वेंसी देखो सो वी हैव डी एस एस स्पेक्ट्रम एफ एच एस एस स्पेक्ट्रम डायरेक्ट स्पेक्ट्रम एफ एच एस एस इज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड ओ एफ डी एम इज द इम्पॉर्टेंट वन एंड देन आई हैव शोन यू दीज चैनल्स वन सिक्स इलेवन टू पॉइंट फोर चैनल्स एंड यू शुड प्लेस यूर वाई फाई इन सच ए मैनर दीज आर कॉल्ड हीट मैप्स एंड देन वी हैव फाइव गी गर्ड चैनल वेयर नाइन चैनल्स आर इम्पॉर्टेंट थर्टी सिक्स फिफ्टी टू सिक्सटी सिक्सटी फोर हंड्रेड ऑल दीज चैनल्स आर इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर फाइव गी गर्ड्स and you should plan your design with cisco prime cisco dna so wireless security is very important so that you can protect from attackers okay it can damage your wifi network it can maliciously attack your systems and cre create problems okay so rog access point means a user create wifi hotspot with the uh, secure wifi network so any uh, so this can be prevented by connecting with the windows server team to stop people to not use hotspot and all okay do prevent your company to not bring wifi devices all those stuff okay so you should not have rogue access point because it can create man in the middle attacks which can check what data is going on between the user and the wifi or internet okay so then we have how you protect wifi then one is ssid cloaking which is like uh, wifi uh, stop the wifi name that's that's called ssid clocking then you can have the mac addresses inside wifi devices so you can have that filter and then in wifi devices you have the kind of devices like this okay where wifi access points where we have authentication server connected to internet okay so you can use this type of stuff in the hotel industry and these are the devices available in the market called o uni box or something like that okay these are called open system authentication for the public cafes and airports and then in normal home networks we use shared key authentication wep wpa2 wpa3 all those okay so very very important in the w all those stuff so wep is not encrypted then we have wpa which uses temporal key integrity protocol then we have wpa2 which is more secure okay because it is using aes advanced encryption standard okay same things you may heard in the ipsec also aes wpa3 which uses combination of aes and tkip okay which is like latest generation wifi enabled devices and it is the most secure method in the wifi right now okay so now when you configure wifi devices okay so wifi device will ask you that you want wifi password to be personal or enterprise so when you use personal you just put a password okay but when you use enterprise you can have the separate authentication server like cisco ice or triple a server so this triple a server you have this wifi okay which is sending the wifi range so wifi will be connected with triple a server so whenever a user connect with wifi the wifi will authenticate the employee id and password in the triple a server 
So basically, this is the same thing what all companies are using when you enter your employee ID and password. Automatically, the employee will get Wi-Fi access because of this protocol, which is called 802.1x standard. This is called Wi-Fi Enterprise. Okay, where we use a RADIUS server, which is called Remote Authentication Dial in User Service. So, a triple A <coughs> will cover a triple A class also will show you what is triple A, but in Wi-Fi enterprise, we can use a triple A. Okay. Where we can protect our company network. Okay. And this enterprise also uses this protocol EAP extensible authentication protocol, which gives more, more security. Okay. And these are the two algorithms, encryption algorithms, which are being used TM, TKIP temporary key integrity protocol which are used in WPA and all, but it is not secure. It will not encrypt too much information, but AES algorithm, which is called advanced encryption standard, which uses this thing, which is called cipher mode with block chaining message authentication code protocol, very big full form. Okay. So it uses CCMP something chaining message authentication code protocol which is very, very, high, very, very highly encrypted algorithm and standard. Okay. Which also uses by IPsec protocol. Then in the WP enterprise, we use radius server and this radius server works on one, six, four, five, one, six, four, six, and you put a password. So this thing I will show in the triple A class where you will understand this mechanism. Okay. And the WPA three also have personal enterprise, which will be more encrypted. Okay. So then nowadays we have IOT devices also, which is internet of things and all. So WPA three has a lot of, uh, security in comparison to WPA two. So what we learn today, if we discuss first in the class, what are the takeaways from the class? We discussed about the normal LAN. PAN, WLAN, WAMAN, all those things. We discuss about Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, Mac, cellular broadband, satellite broadband technologies. We discussed about 2.4 gigahertz frequency. We have three channels. Remember 1611. We have five gigahertz where we have nine channels. Okay. Three organizations are placing very important role in Wi-Fi standards. That's ITU, IEEE and Wi-Fi Alliance. These three are very important for giving the Wi-Fi license standards. Then there is a cap web protocol we discussed, which is IEEE protocol, which is between the WLC and the access point. Okay. Then there is another protocol, which is called DTLS. So DTLS protocol provides security between the access point and the WLC because cap web use karta DLTS. Then we have Wi-Fi standard. Okay. Frequencies, radio frequencies like DSS, direct spectrum spread, FHS, frequency hop, something OFDM and all. So normally everywhere we use OFDM because signals are like this. Okay. That's why we use a one, six, 11 channel. This is all OFDM. So in the five gigahertz, we get more channels. So we should protect our Wi-Fi from the attackers, wireless intruders, DOS attacks. Okay. Rogue access points. And for that, we should use security and to have that security, you should hide the SSID clocking means uh, secure the Wi-Fi names. You should not, uh, broadcast Wi-Fi name. Then you can have Mac address securities, and then you can use authentication passwords like WEP, which is not recommended WPA, which is also not recommended WPA two and three are more secure. Okay. So WPA2 uses TKIP, Temporal Key Integrity Protocol, and WPA3 is using Advanced Encryption Standard Algorithm, which is more, more securely. Okay. So this is the end of the session, guys. We have done good start with the Wi-Fi topics. And I'll be sharing this PPT in your notes. Okay. And have a good read. I hope you got the point right. Yes or no?
see these are when you go for the wireless we'll discuss john what will happen if wlc goes down user will lose connectivity in our environment okay see there are multiple modes john okay so we'll have to see what mode your company is working on okay so there are two modes na as if you connect with the flex connect wifi <coughs> the flex connect mode then even if your wlc is not working still wifi access points will work but rest depends on the model if you are using very old models of wlc maybe they will not work with the latest technologies but if it is not a flex mode uh, it's normal wls in ap in that case we will lose connection yes yes if it is flex okay. connect then it you will not lose okay so uh, you mean to say then the tunnel established between uh, ap and wlc cap pap tunnel will be lost right if yes. flex connect yeah yeah true so how the communication is happening if Uh, the uh, cap up tunnel is down how mm -hmm. the users are accessing it right so, so you mean basically just... user is redirected it's like a mediator understand like wlc is the core component it's like a brain of access point okay but it is only controlling the control features it's like uh, suppose if uh, like uh, consider like a routing protocol so routing protocol is the control management right if routing mm -hmm. protocol is uh sending you the route or not at the end of the day user is if a user is able to access internet whether it is default route or something okay there is no if ospf neighbor is down okay and if we have the backup user will still go to the internet right so understand from that perspective okay so when we talk about flex connect or any wifi standard so when wlc is down your access point is still operational because access point is converting your wifi from the lan cable what is added to the access point but why wlc is required so that you can check and manage the whole things okay but yes it totally depends again on the scenario to scenario because wlcs can be configured in multiple ways okay so i will try to show you the labs where we can configure wlc in multiple ways okay so we'll try to see multiple options like flex connect we'll try to see okay we'll cover uh, uh, i think one or two more features of wlc we'll try to cover okay and i'll okay. try to create uh, like once the content comes i'll try to show you uh, what you are asking that if uh, the wlc goes down what will happen okay, okay. Yeah. yeah thank you because there so are multiple option in cisco wifi like centralized wifi mechanism flex connect mechanism uh, cloud managed wifi devices in so there are multiple option in cisco so we need to see multiple options and uh, so are you guys using uh, flex connect or you guys have direct uh, do you know something about that uh, no uh, actually in remote locations using flex connect okay. and uh, the uh, main uh, hub locations they are not using flex connect locally okay so my question is was this was is when so where they... where your wlc in every branch office you have the uh, wlc uh, no only on the uh, main branch we have the wlc and okay. uh, remote sites we have flex connect okay got it so now if you say main branch is down yeah if your main wifi main wlc is down Mm -hmm. so you are saying your company branch offices cannot access internet this is what you are saying uh, that's what i am asking yes i want to know the downtime so uh, it it so uh, is yeah. your is your whole internet is connected to head office no locally we have so in so every it, branch office you also have internet right yes locally we have so what happens actually you are you you can't see the wifi names when it is down so what exactly uh, happens uh no i didn't i didn't encounter those issues because i am mm -hmm. not looking in the wifi so i just want to know because we when we go for to the business asking for a downtime so mm -hmm. i want to be clear on that so okay, okay. in uh, i would say remote site i believe internet goes doesn't go down because mm -hmm. uh, it's locally available okay. but in uh, branch of in uh, main uh, main office i would say that uh, it will not it will have an impact if uh the 
what to say wlc is down because all the interfaces right the interface like one of the uh, interface like for ssid or for uh, any of the uh, internet facing side it will be configured on wlc part mm -hmm. so uh, that way it can go down okay okay got it so basically can you give uh, me more information uh, like if you can just discuss with the team or whosoever is in the office so okay. just ask them mm -hmm. like uh, what is the reason what why they are not able to okay 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 because i don't know your network okay there could be n number of reasons okay but i am not sure if it is uh if wlc is down why your network is getting down okay and if it is down your access point is giving wi-fi range or not no wi-fi range is giving giving okay yeah. but you are not able to go to internet this is what yes. i'm saying yes yes uh okay. but i don't face it in this one what is it uh, uh, in every connect. branch office you are getting the same issue uh, no 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 uh -huh. no no one or two sites which i came across because okay not every side, side right not every side okay okay now go so it means that wlc is not the problem na that's your access point configuration okay okay so maybe your access point either is very old maybe they do not support properly flex connect all features okay it could be the issue or it could be other xyz reason okay rest you get more information we can discuss okay in flex connect i would say one thing uh, do when the wlc is down i think so we will not be add We will not be able to add new users. No, no, no. You can't add. Okay. It, Only you existing can, users will have the connection. Existing Wi-Fi users who already have the password, who already have means, but they can add connect with the Wi-Fi. I think. But normally, every company do not ask employees to put the password because, as I told you, when you connect with your employee ID, automatically you get the Wi-Fi. Yes. But even if WLC is down, still I think guest people can access internet. नॉर्मल इंटरनेट विल नॉट वर्क इट इज लाइक कंट्रोलर ऑफ वाई फाई डिवाइस ओनली थैंक यू Hello sir. Uh, Hello sir. In uh, yes. multiple uh, we like the hotels and uh, cafes where as we discussed, but at there uh, some configurations are there as uh, we are also doing the configuration. But I am not doing that is why I am asking you. Uh, mm -hmm. In uh, somewhere we are configuration uh, doing the configuration. If the user is connecting the Wi-Fi, so, mm -hmm. so we are configuration it them on uh, based on time period. So in the thirty minute one hour. Yeah, after that time, he will not be able to use the internet. Or uh, after the consumption of one uh, GB or two GB, he will not be able to use the internet. That configuration can be done on WLC or it is uh, any other things. So you want user to get blocked for one hour? This is what you are saying? No, no. For example, I am going in a one hotel. Okay, mm -hmm. hotel is giving me the one uh, pass mm -hmm. to use the internet, printed mm -hmm. password. Okay, I will uh, enter it. Mine. Uh, so those yeah. those are special, Mahesh. Those are special devices. As I mentioned, they are not from the Cisco family. Okay, those okay. devices are authentication server. As I mentioned, ये देखो. So these are OTP based China products kind of, or some good companies maybe they are creating also. So this is the authentication SMS. So when a and coffee shop ask your mobile number. so wifi yeah. access point will forward your signal to the authentication server this authentication server will authenticate the otp from the internet you can see so the yeah. main this device is the main device in the hotel industry excuse me sir hmm. yes sir but sir, i have a question uh, sorry to interrupt sir, sir uh, let uh, me complete his question okay, okay so mahesh this is the box okay this can you guys can yeah. use in hotel or somewhere like Yeah, that's uh, that is why my I am coming again because uh, we uh, from my company uh, in, uh, itself uh, installed the device recently in our hotel. We mm -hmm. done the total installation of the Cisco only with the WLC, and we done there. Uh, okay, and uh, you uh, there are two configuration with them. User either can uh, use one uh, GB data per day, okay. or he can use three uh, hours per day. 
like yeah, yeah yeah we can i think that we can do with wlc and all but yeah, we can't but use otp based this functionality what you're saying otp nahi kar sakte hum usme no not otp based this is a time based or and maybe or, uh, maybe i'm talking about because i studied uh, a little uh, back so maybe at in 2023 maybe you can have definitely otp with cisco devices as well i have to check but i'm not sure about this okay. sir haan ji haan ji sir yes yeah sir. sir this is a possible in aruba sir 92 aruba series. mein to maine bola hi hai aruba mein to hota hi hai main to keh hi raha hu yeah sir but uh, yeah. uske liye alag se ek sab server purchase karna hota hai aur bundle packet Haan. khareedna hota hai yeah 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 authentication server authentication sir public ke liye log rakhte hain हाँ यस दिल रग डिडक्शन सर रग डिडक्शन के लिए सर वो हम मतलब एपी कंट्रोलर वो सर्वर एडमिन पार्ट है या सर ट्रिपल ए के पार्ट में आएगा किस में किस में रग डिडक्शन रग एपी डिडक्शन डिटेक्शन जो मालवेयर वाला होता है नहीं सर रग रग एपी हाँ हाँ रग एपी का मतलब क्या समझ रहे हो आप यहाँ पे Rug AP that means ki create to we are a uh, open network uh, with mm-hmm. the help of uh, public network uh, we uh, connect with the with the help of the OTP and we create a hotspot because we are having a facility in a my uh, in phone we create a hotspot. But वो चीज नहीं होनी चाहिए ना that's like a vulnerability security issue है वो security sir वो server admin part है या triple A के अंदर हम लोग पढ़ेंगे नहीं नहीं रोग एक्सेस पॉइंट्स तो यार टॉपिक ही अलग है बेसिकली इट्स सिक्योर सिक्योरिटी टॉपिक दैट ओके वर्नेबिलिटीज वाले जो लोग हैं वर्नेबिलिटी लाइक द पीपल हु आर फ्रॉम द साइबर सिक्योरिटी टीम दोज यूज लाइन एक्स एंड ऑल दे डिटेक्ट व्हाट काइंड ऑफ वाईफाई डिवाइसेज सो इट्स नॉट ऑब्वियसली पार्ट ऑफ सी सी एन पी ओके सो देर आर लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स वाई फाई फीचर्स पंपकिन ये अलग ही लेवल का है मतलब इट्स रिलेटेड टू द डिफेंसिव साइबर सिक्योरिटी पीपल लाइक एपीज लगा के जब उसपे हम लोग चैनल तो सेट कर लेते हैं या तो ऑटो पे डाल देते हैं बट उसमें ओवरलैपिंग हो के जो रोमिंग के लिए हम लोग एक वन सिंगल एस एस आई डी पे हम लोग कैरी करते हैं हम लोग हाँ वो, वो, वो मैं बता करते हैं कि हम लोगों का सिंगल आईडी पे हो पता है मुझे वो रोमिंग ही कहते हैं पढ़ लेंगे उसको कोई दिक्कत नहीं करेंगे भाई जो है मैं देखो डीप में ना एक तीसरे वायरलेस बैच आने वाला है ठीक है शायद कभी आज इंडिया में इंडिया में वैसे कोई वायरलेस सी से ही वायरलेस टाइप तो है नहीं है बट बिकॉज इट्स वेरी टफ टू टीच वाई फाई लाइक इन दट वी कॉल इन द सी सी लेवल बिकॉज सी सी एन आफ्टर द सी सी एन बी एंटरप्राइज यू गर्ज कैन गो फॉर सी सी वायरलेस एज वेल शिवम कुछ पूछ रहे थे आप यस सर यस थैंक यू फॉर अनम्यूटिंग सर सर मैं ये पूछ रहा था आपने ये डब्ल्यू एल सी के बारे में बताया था तो हमारे यहाँ सिस्को नहीं कंपनी यूजिंग रक्कस सिस्टम ओके रक्कस के एपीज हैं और रक्कस का जोन डायरेक्टर है तो वो वायरलेस लैंड कंट्रोलर की तरह ही काम करता है क्योंकि वो भी तो कंट्रोलर बन के फिर एपीज से रक्कस अरूबा सिस्को जूनिपर ऑल दे हैव वायरलेस कंट्रोल और उसमें भी हमारे पास ऑप्शन होता है जो आपने की पास का बताया तो उसमें भी एक ऑप्शन है गेस्ट पास का जो कस्टमर हमें बोलता है कि लेट से उसके स्कूल में क, क, कोई गेस्ट आया और उसने रिक्वेस्ट किया कि मुझे कुछ देर के लिए वाईफाई यूज करना है और मुझे एक की दे दो ताकि मैं उस नेटवर्क में कनेक्ट कर सकू वन क्लिक एक्सेस बेसिकली हाँ वन क्लिक एक्सेस भी होता है क्या होता है पहले से कस्टमर को हम उसका मैक एड्रेस अलाउ कर देते हैं उस पर भी हो जाता है मल्टीपल चीजें होती है तो okay. वो टेक्नोलॉजी तो सेम यूज कर रहा है ना डब्ल्यू एल सीको का और जोन डायरेक्टर सो बेसिकली वेन यू गो फॉर वायरलेस इंटरव्यूज जनरली ओके आई एम टॉक अबाउट जनरली ओके सो सी वेन द रियल नॉलेज ऑफ वायरलेस यू विल गेट इन प्रोडक्शन ओनली फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ये फैक्ट है ओके यू कांट लर्न प्रॉपर वायरलेस विद एनी कोर्स ओके यू कैन कवर योर बेसिक्स टू क्रैक इंटरव्यू बट ऑल दीज थिंग्स 
like when it comes to flex vpn all these setup you will get in the production network sir, because production there... matlab jab jab real time pe main jaise kaam kar raha hu ha jaise aap okay. kaam kar rahe ho wahi main bata raha hu so now aaj ke session se aapko kya fayda hua shivam you got the basic you know now a yes. kya hota hai 802.11a b g n yeah. you understand what uh, when you log in into wifi devices you see wpa2 wpa3 what is this yes yes okay. yeah. so when you see some channels heat maps oh. All these, so these are like it's a basic class. ये जो मैंने आज पढ़ाई C C N A का part है समझो। सर मैंने जितना भी अभी wireless काम किया। जो आज मैंने पढ़ाया है तुम्हें, वही मैं बता रहा हूँ जिन लोगों जो N P में आए हैं मेरे पास directly, okay, I'm just showing, telling you this syllabus, what we discussed today is a C C N A Wi-Fi. Are you getting my point? If you are already in uh, in my combo, it's okay, okay, because I have to start by C C N A only. Okay, but uh, if you have done C C N A from somewhere else, okay, but consider this knowledge. ये आपको पहले होना चाहिए था। हाँ, मैं अकबर दे दूँगा S N M P C log notes. Yes, Darshan. Yeah, sir. Uh, as it is a like wireless LAN. Uh, mm -hmm. I may have question of the regarding to a wireless I L L. Uh, we procured the one G B B S I L L, but uh, the I am not getting the. Uh, The I uh, I S P committed one gem one ratio, but we are not getting the that that kind of speed. Like we are getting near about eight fifty or the nine hundred Mbps only. Mm -hmm. And I and have Wi-Fi. For the, yeah, for, uh, they providing us for that uh, Wi-Fi uh, that is speed from the uh, on a RF radio. Mm -hmm. They uh, they merge two two RF and into one. They provide a such limit. Okay. I ask for the like what are the technical uh, specification and uh, how uh, how how can they are ensuring us that uh, we are getting the constant speed but uh, they are not able to provide the exact mechanism can we uh, so which device which Wi-Fi models you guys are using access points access point if I say the in terms of the access point it's a Ruije oh it's a brand different brand. Yeah, it's a different brand. It's a kind so of. Have you seen the output of that brand uh, throughput? What is the throughput of that device model? No, no. My question is, um, even if we are uh, we are uh, check uh, testing the link on the single device, even though we are not getting the one gem okay, one. Like okay, okay, got it. If if even even you put in the LAN cable in your laptop, still you are getting eight fifty. Yeah. Okay, but ISP saying it is one GB. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, then, sometimes what to ISP what, only? Yeah. Uh, sometimes what they does, they just uh, see the throughput of the LAN port. But mm -hmm. uh, I'm I'm having a little bit doubt about that uh, whether it is a uh, whether it is a real speed or the not. Is there any mechanism to? Uh, so your speeds? laptop is uh, where you are checking. Yeah. Obviously, it should uh, be have uh, giga port, right? Yes, it is. It is the latest one. ओके वन जी बी पोर्ट ओके ग्रेट ओके सो के सो द ओनली ऑप्शन इज टू चेक इन द लैपटॉप वेयर यू ऑलरेडी चेक डू सेट बट एट फिफ्टी और ओके ऑन विच वेबसाइट यू आर चेकिंग वी आर चेकिंग विथ ओकला एंड द स्पीड ओकला स्पीड टेस्ट एंड दिस इज नॉट द वे टू टेस्ट बेसिकली दैट इज एक्सैक्टली आई एम so this is not the way to exactly check the speed because <laughs> so you have ill corporate proper uh, proper costly connection yeah. or the nor 16 lakh we are paying more than 16 okay okay per then, annum then ask them to see there are two ways to test the bandwidth of your wan connection if isp is not supporting okay yeah. so the normal this is what we call jugad okay so pehla yeah. kya hai You go to that Okla speed test, okay? So <laughs> because one GB, they will be giving you. So right now you can see I have this Net Plus broadband, and by default it is checking their own server. Yeah. Okay. If I check my speed, I think I have two uh, hundred MB link maybe. Yeah. I think I have three hundred. No, four hundred. Am I right? Okay. So I have four hundred MB. Mbps internet right now, and they are giving me two eighty Mbps right now. Yeah. Approx. I think three hundred will be enough. My plan, maybe. Okay. Okay. So consider I have three hundred Mbps and I am getting two eighty three. So this is the 
speed between my Wi-Fi device and their office network. Okay, so now understand this is the speed test of LAN network of the ISP. This yeah. is not correct. So now what I'll do, I'll go and click on the change server. Okay, and I'll try to check is there any AWS server if I can test. Okay, this is not AWS. Or maybe I can check with Tata Play Fiber because I'm using a different ISP and this is the different ISP. I can check with Tata Play Fiber. And this is again, I'm saying this is not the corporate test what uh, engineers should do. Okay, but you can see the speed is going little too low because maybe this, this fiber has a capacity to handle this much speed or kind of, okay. Or maybe the server they have in Delhi, it can uh, revert the traffic on that speed only. Okay, so rest, you can check Google servers, Facebook servers. Okay, <coughs> but normally exact output, if you want to know, the only, only reason is you go and deploy AWS Linux machine. Okay. And in the AWS Linux machine, you install this thing, iPerf. Okay, so this is the screenshot I'm sharing, if you guys get. Okay, so these are the, you should know some little bit of Linux to do that. Okay, so basically we will go to our AWS free platform. We'll create a small machine, which is called Elastic Compute. So we'll make a simple Linux free machine. Banayenge. Okay, in the free Linux machine, we will install this iPerf. Okay, we will go to iPerf and all. Ye sab ho jayega. Okay, once we do that, so this is like in from your laptop, you go and check iPerf testing now. iPerf testing. So you can see how to use iPerf test to network bandwidth. This is the best way which we used to do in the companies when the customer said they are not getting proper speed. Okay. So ye karna dekho aapko. you have to use IP, IP of three as a S means in the server side. Okay. Iska tutorial mein kabhi banai nahi paaya kyunki mujhe na destination nahi mili. Uh, now we got the idea AWS maybe. IP of three server side pe dena hai. This you have to give this command to the server side. Okay. And in the client side, you have to put client with the C. You have to put the server IP address and port number 7575 like that. And it will give you the proper bit rate. You can see exact speed. What is your connection speed? Here it is written 1G 950. And you can send this screenshot to them. That I have done IP of testing, not speed test. Because speed test will always give you fake results. You, you will not ab able to come to know that actually what is your actual internet speed. Okay. Yeah, got it, sir. Thanks. Okay. Satish, you have any question? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, tell me. Uh, it's report regarding that uh, you you just told right uh, it will search for their uh, own server uh, mm -hmm. and and you told that you will change the server to someone else uh, to check the exact speed i so, of you are talking about na no not the not that one sir speed test okay okay uh, speed test okay yeah uh, mm -hmm. being an actually i am into i am from the isp guy Okay. So being an ISP guy, I can oppose like uh, uh, based on that server load, it will show the bandwidth. Mm -hmm. It then will how... show you the bandwidth from the router to your node base to the site location of your main servers. Uh -huh. Not the exact proper bandwidth. Because ISP can claim 1 GB also, but maybe your uh, further pipe, consider... You are saying you are giving 1 GB to the clients. Okay. Yes, sir. But what yes. if you do not have the big pipes or what we call upstream links are not 1 GB then? No, uh, these upstream links are absolutely uh, open and uh, almost kept 50% free. Mm -hmm. So okay. at that time, how to answer that question, sir? 
so you are saying the upstream links are in very high speed and 50% of the traffic are not passing through those links right yeah i mean it's it, it is free it is free means how means not uh, consuming the bandwidth so what if you are testing a server which do not have the capability to respond with that speed because you are testing a server suppose you are going with the 1 gb speed but the server which you are testing is ha in their office they have 300 mbps uh, that's what uh, that my intention that so that one sir yeah so you, uh, you, you said that one uh, change the server right that uh -huh. uh, so called x server not having the full capacity or uh, uh, what you call the um, pipe is not free then yeah. it will show you the less bandwidth only right so how yes. can we depend on that one no we can't depend that's why i'm saying in the real world i have given you both example as a yeah, network expert you use iperf3 okay as a normal layman person what we call the normal it guy like you can discuss okay i am not uh, see whenever i check my local if i by default it will always pick the isp server only uh, right mostly mostly yeah, because why? it depends on the ms yeah from where i get low latency i yes yes, yes. absolutely so because this is like consider now my net plus router is connected to the obviously net plus server, server. in uh, yes. ludhiana is the head office suppose so that okay. fiber cable is going right but i am talking about this net plus kind of isp they have the full big pipes also maybe they are controlling the bandwidth here maybe maybe i hope you understand what i am trying to say maybe yeah, they yeah. have one maybe they have 10 gb bandwidth okay but if the lot of users are accessing they have used the quality of service okay yes. doing some shaping and policing so that whenever users are going beyond their network then it will not go 1 gbps but till you their router to net plus server they will get 1 gbps but after that they will not get 1 gb this is yeah, what i'm sure trying to say yeah yeah clear now yes sir. yeah thank you okay koi your doubt yes amit do you have any doubt asthana rahul hello yeah, can yeah. you hear me sir yes yes amit hello yeah yeah hello can you hear me haan ji haan ji 